Hey guys, welcome to the CKC Garage crime scene. So anyways, if you're watching this video, you're obviously trying to get your kids ride on going, being it a Best Choice or Big Toys Green Country or some of this off-brand stuff, this drifter. Long story short is I had a customer bring this in and it didn't work. Uh, this is the controller for it and I could not find one in stock anywhere. So I ordered a replacement wheelie thinking, ah, oh, no big deal, just swap it in. It's not even close to the same the way that the shifter is and the uh, double pole shifter switches. So this is the power wheel swap that I've talked to many, many people about. Basically, we're going to gut yours, your ride on of this, and we're going to put in a power wheels harness. Uh, you can find these a dime a dozen. You can go to the dump, the scrap yard, but you're going to need the complete wiring harness. From the battery, this one, the battery connector's been cut off, into the throttle plunger switch, and it goes into the shifter. So, once you get that, and then it goes back to your motors. So, once you get that removed from your donor, it's going to look like this. So, uh, this one is complete and I've even got it hooked up to a battery. Uh, you hit the plunger, motors go crazy because there is no uh, dampening. Your stock one used to have a soft start, but this is all power on, all power off. So let's get over to uh, what we're going to do. So uh, when you put it in your ride on, you're going to maybe have to extend some of these wires because this shifter was really close under the seat, so the motor wires are long enough. And the the uh, the new one that you're replacing, the shifter is way up here now, so you're gonna have to come down underneath the belly and back to your motors. So you probably are gonna have to extend them. So this is what it looks like, guys. I did the low speed delete, so all it has is forward and reverse, so it makes both motors posy. That's really all you need for these older kids. And also, this one had RC, but it doesn't have RC anymore, guys. You're gonna lose that because it doesn't have a brain to you know, shift it from manual to RC. But this will get you going. Um, another thing you're gonna have to do is at the foot pedal down here, you're gonna have to make the hole a little bit bigger so that uh, you can put your foot pedal plunger, the new style, in here. Forward, reverse. And you guys notice that it stops, but it's not abrupt. And that is because in line at the plunger, uh, I've got the cover on here, but the orange wire that is on your stock harness, you're going to cut that and you're gonna wire in one of these resistors. This one right here, uh, I'm going to put the link in the description of the video to the Amazon site. So you guys can get that. Um, the value of it will be in that link. It's a 100 watt half ohm. Um, and the battery, this is what you're gonna be looking at. So you've got power coming from your battery into your fuse, 30 amp fuse going down into the stock uh, power wheels harness and same with your ground here. Uh, you can see that there's actually two wires. So the second set of wires are the ones that goes up to your accessory. So um, this is where the old stock switch used to be and on the customers it melted and I figured that's what it was because it's having all the power go into that and then into the controller. Well, I bypassed it so you don't have to have this on as far as the sound effects and the um, MP3 player. It's kind of cool though. It's got a volt gauge on there. Sounds. But you can shut it off if you want. And I did that separate so that instead of going into the switch, you guys might have to run it into a step down converter if you're over volting or using the drill batteries, what everybody's doing now, which I don't recommend for a daily driver. That's for drag racing. But anyways, uh, if you guys want to smoke batteries because you don't have low voltage cutoffs, that's another video. But anyways, so second set of wires going up to your uh, control box there. Um, and this battery is upgraded. It used to be a teeny tiny little seven amp hour. Look at that little guy. It's two six volt, seven amp hours in series. We replaced it with a 12 volt, 12 amp hour Mighty Max. 
And here's those buck converters or step down converters you guys might need. So let's talk about what to do. So you've got the, the gist of how this goes. So uh, once you get it all installed, or actually probably before, you have to decide what you're gonna do. Okay, you got your foot pedal coming into the shifter. Are you guys gonna keep low speed and low reverse? Because um, it, it basically steps it down. It turns your wiring into series. So it has to go out one motor, through the motor, back to the shifter, out one motor, in and back. And if your motor goes bad, uh, your, your ride-on won't work, only in high gear because it keeps them in parallel. All right, so here it is, guys. So this is two options. You can keep it like this, and if you have to, extend your four wires back to your motors, or this is what I did in this donor behind us. We actually cut the wires right here, black and red. So, um, let's see. Let me try to, this is what's left. So you can see where I cut it here, right? The black and red. So at those stubs, I just added a crimp connector on here and I extended it back to the motors. And then that's it. Because I used the stock battery wire that was in it. But if you guys, ideally, what I would probably do is if you're getting for going for max performance, is uh, in, in the shifter here, I would pop these little tabs out, which you can do with a teeny tiny little screwdriver. Uh, once you pull this apart, you can see these little tabs. You push a screwdriver right in there and these, these uh, release. And what that will do is it'll give you two wires in one so that you can run one negative to one motor, one negative to the other motor over here, one positive to each motor. And that's ideal because you won't have amp uh, draw reduction or resistance. Easiest for you guys, honestly, is just to keep the whole wiring harness. And if you have to extend it, cut each one and add in a section. And if you are extending it or redoing it, if you're trying to do drag races and stuff, definitely want to use some high grade 12 gauge wire. We prefer this uh, RC silicone wire. Higher temp, high strand count, uh, works great. Didn't talk about the resistor. Okay, so that resistor guys, I did say, I'll put the link in the description. This is what it looks like out of the box. So when you get it in the mail, you're actually going to have to make up some little ends and solder onto each end, shrink wrap it, kind of like what you see under the car. One female end, one male end, and you just uh, put that in line of your uh, orange wire and it'll give it uh, ABS or interlock braking. It will definitely protect your gearboxes. Um, I'm actually gonna experiment with a 100 watt 0.3 uh, ohm and that should give it a little bit stronger braking force um, So yes, there is some Soldering involved guys, and these are the fuses that I'll put in the description link Pretty easy. You just cut this in half. You got to install your fuse These are 40 amp fuses and you just do one female crimp and one male crimp on the other end and you just wire that in line of your wiring harness that you already have from power wheels they did all the hard work. And there's some of the tools you're gonna need, guys. You know, some wire crimpers, wire strippers. Uh, I like to use voltmeters all the time. And a variety of crimp connectors. So, um, not too many, but yeah. Any questions, guys, leave a comment down below. If you want more how-to videos like this, give me a thumbs up and say, hey, what do you want to see next, guys? Uh, I've got some cool ones coming up on these older... Uh, these are an older metal Jeep gearboxes with the monster motors. And I have a lot of people wondering what to do with... If you've got two 6-volt batteries, well, you can't just wire in a 12-volt to that. So that's going to be the next video, guys. So stay tuned and watch for that one uh, for one of these old retro ride-on modifications to get you going with something current. Anyways, guys... Give me a thumbs up and holler at you later.